This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Head over to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial. Hey everyone, Eileen here with Graham. Hey guys. You know what Graham, we got a uh, email. Ooh, let's read it. This is from Corey. Uh, in an earlier episode, a review on jailbreaking was done. Now that it is fully legal and sites like jailbreakme.com have popped up, can you give us a review on jailbreaking the iPhone 4? What features are unlocked? For example, SMS, alert tones, tethering, etc. Thanks and keep up the awesome work. Corey, I brought, I brought up your email because we were already thinking about yeah. doing jailbreaking and um, our iPhone 4s. And we're going to do jailbreakme.com. I am not a stranger to jailbreaking. I did it with my first gen iPhone. I've had every iPhone. Mm -hmm. Uh, you that you at least released. have to try it once. Exactly. You know? And if you don't, if it's not for you, then go back to the way you had it. But yeah. uh, jailbreaking is essentially for those who are uninformed uh, a way to install unapproved applications onto your iPhone. And jailbreak me apparently makes this very very easy. So I, you know what? I'm ready. I'm going to do this. All right. So let's get this done right now. Here we go. And by the way, this is one of the easiest ways uh, of all the times that I've jailbroken. This is by far the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. Just go to jailbreakme.com uh, and, and they have a nice little interface and you slide to jailbreak and then the phone tells go. you to sit tight and you just kind of wait for the jailbreak to happen. Now what's actually going on here is there is a huge security flaw in mobile Safari that's letting this website have root access to your phone and installing something on your phone. So I imagine this jailbreak, as easy as it is, isn't going to be around for much longer because mm. it is a very big security flaw that's going to get fixed in a matter of time. Uh, but for now, it's one of the easiest ways to jailbreak your iPhone. Okay, so this is going much faster than I thought, and this is super easy because when Mao jailbroke and taught everybody how to jailbroke break the uh, iPhone 3G, there was a lot of steps involved, and I just right. didn't want to do that. <laughs> In the past, you've had to connect your iPhone with the USB cable and let and run some software on a computer. This is the first time, I think the first time, that you can actually just go to a website and it does it all for you, and you have the Cydia App Store ready and waiting after it's done. Okay, so it's almost done. This is, I'm so excited. I don't know what to expect. Now, you've had it for the last day, right? Right. I jailbroke it. I just wanted to see how easy it was, and I think a lot of people are kind of doing the same thing. Um, and now there's this question of, well, jailbreaking is completely legal now. We should be able to do this. And so uh, there's a lot of, you know, jailbreaking in the past has been this kind of legal gray area mm -hmm. because jailbreaking essentially lets you install unapproved apps. You, you have a lot of uh, things that can happen. There can be security issues, some performance issues. You could brick your phone, mm -hmm. um, and you can void your warranty, according to Apple. <laughs> oh, okay. So they um, haven't, you know, their response to the jailbreaking. Well, um, what happened in, in recent news, the DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, was up for review just a couple of days ago, and they added an exemption for jailbreaking mobile phones. Mm -hmm. They said, well, you bought the phone, it's your phone, you can do whatever you want. Uh, jailbreaking is legal in the eyes of the DMCA. Uh, so what happens is everyone's like, well, we're completely uh, within our right to do this now. But Apple has since responded saying, yes, it may be legal in the government's eyes, but it's still going to uh, void your warranty on the phone. So if you jailbreak your phone and you want to uh, send your phone in for service at Apple, they're going to refuse your service or, or they're going to charge you for it. Okay, so Even restore though, it. Yeah, so restore your phone <laughs> before you take phone it to Apple. Before you do any of this, first of all. Right. And then, you know, restore it if you need to take it back. Okay, what is this? Who are you? Not all of the packages available via Cydia are designed to be used by all users. Please categorize yourself so that Cydia can apply. Okay. Oh, I am not a hacker, or I'm going to just do user. Is that what you did? Yes. Okay. Essentially, it's, as, it's asking you what your skill level is, because if you go to the, the hardest level here, it's going to be more of a command line interface, oh, no. and you won't know what to do if, you, if you're not uh, used to coding and, and whatnot or entering mm -hmm. commands. So I would just choose graphical. You're, you have full access to everything that a jailbreak offers. Uh, and so what it should have done is installed the Cydia App Store, there which it is, is. An unapproved app store full of apps that developers have made that Apple has, that they just didn't want to either deal with Apple or Apple <laughs> has unapproved okay. these apps or banned them. So Google Voice is there. You have apps that will let you uh, connect to your phone wirelessly, open SSH. You have lots of things you can do. And I think that's the main problem is 
if you've never jailbroken your phone before, you're really not sure what to do at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's been a long time. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that I really did when I jailbroke my original iPhone mm -hmm. was change the wallpaper and, Yeah, but you now, know, now the icons. wallpaper is something you can change, I know, actually. right, yeah. So what is there to do? My number one reason for jailbreaking was I wanted to change my text message tone. Okay. Now, I'm hearing the laughs from the other side <laughs> because every other phone in the world yeah. lets you have custom text message tones, but the iPhone in the four years it's been out has never been a, you've never been able to use custom tones so the first thing I did is I used open SSH to there it is F, okay to do a secure FTP connection to my phone and I replaced one of my text message tones with the I think it's the Xbox live achievement unlocked sound oh nice <laughs> so something something different I'm just got really tired of the standard text message tone the other thing that I did is I changed my new email alert sound because I can never hear that sound when it happens. It's okay. just this very low sort of, uh, you yeah. know, it's like you can yeah. never hear it. So I changed it to a very loud beep. So now I can hear when I have new emails coming in. Okay, what else? Now, you told me about tethering. Right. All right, so this is the app modem. And I'm going to just go ahead and download it. Cool. This is another great reason to jailbreak your phone if you really don't want to pay that $20 extra a yeah. month uh, and do it legally. You can, there's plenty of tethering apps. There's actually an app that will turn your phone into a mobile hotspot, uh, just like oh. a Sprint Evo does. And I gotta so get that there's too. Lots, okay. of, <laughs> lots of great tethering apps. Of course, you know, with a disclaimer, you're actually, you're not supposed to be tethering. So if you right. start using large amounts of data, especially They're if gonna... you're on one of the new AT&T plans, then you're going to run into problems with AT&T. I have unlimited, <laughs> never changed it. Okay, cool. Now, anything else that, and uh, you've only had it for a day, but this is, I feel like I'm walking into a new world. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> um, backgrounder, true backgrounding. Right, not the multitasking just, yeah. on the iPhone uh, OS is not true multitasking. It's okay. sort of uh, backgrounding APIs that happen uh, on the official multitasking from Apple. Okay. But there are apps in the Cydia App Store that will actually do true multitasking, okay. true backgrounding. And you haven't found anything wrong with your phone since doing this, right? Have there, you been were, able there were reports that if you had an iPhone 4 and you did this jailbreakme.com jailbreak that your FaceTime connection would stop working and your, okay. your multimedia messages would stop working, but they have since fixed that. So oh. if you have already jailbroken your phone and you're experiencing these problems, just go to the Cydia App Store mm -hmm. and there'll be a little update waiting for you. Update it and everything should work fine. Wow. Well, I'm going to just explore and we'll probably have more on jailbreaking in a future episode. Okay, let's reiterate that jailbreaking your phone, according to Apple, still voids your warranty. Maybe legal, but according to Apple, don't do it. And so um, please back up your phone in case you want to restore and not have the jailbreaking, uh, not have the city of store. If you decide to go back, yeah, you can go back, by the way. It, jailbreaking is not a permanent thing. Mm -hmm. if, you ex if you jailbreak your phone and you experience, like, oh, my battery's draining faster or it locks up, then all you have to do is restore your phone. Okay. Well, if you have any suggestions on what apps we should be looking at since we're newly jailbroken <laughs> iPhone 4 users, uh, go ahead and email us, appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also ping us on Twitter, at appjudgment, Facebook, and go ahead and leave a comment on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash appjudgment. And of course, our home, revision3.com slash appjudgment. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Macs, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like the Xbox 360, PS3, and the Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free, and there are never any late fees or due dates. Keep the movies for as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. As a new member and as an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free tryout membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you.